Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. And uh, in this UJS Thrived tutorial, we will learn that how we can use multiple slots. So we will continue our last video, and in last video, we learn about what are the slots and how we can use them. But they are only single slot, right? There is a no multiple slots in last video. So in this video, we will learn that how we can use multiple slots, and I specifically mention here with name because when we are using only single slot. then we don't need to define the name of that slot but whenever we have multiple slots we have to define the name because now we have to specify that what data we want to show in what slot right so the second point is uh, we will understand the problem uh, with the normal slot and then we will uh, take example of multiple slots or you can say that named slot and at the last we will cover a interview question also so let's understand the problem first of all so here you can see that in home dot view we are using child component and in child component we are using a slot so we can reuse it as you can see that we are just passing here for a moment peter here and peter is visible here that's fine so let's say i just use one more time this child component and now i put here code step by step and now uh, we can you can see that we have a two time uh, rendered this uh, child component and both are slotted inside uh, mentioned inside slot so now what actually happen so let's say i just want to use this h1 tag also in our first child or you can say that first component but this should be visible in the second slot so let's say we have here we have here two slots and we want to visible oh, sorry let me copy it again right we want to show the second h1 tag inside our second slot so first of all let's take a look on the output that we can just get now you can see that the all component is rendered two time because a uh, first data which is here you can see that uh, code step by step and peter is rendered or displayed by first slot then same data is rendered by the second slot also if i put one more here then you will see that the same data is displayed by three time but uh, now we have a question that how we can just specify some data should be visible in a first slot and some data is visible in the second slot for that what we can do here we can simply put the name to these slots and uh, let's say i am putting here mm -mm. slot name for that let me put here like uh, uh, slot 1 and now we can put here slot 2 and now we can call them this data should be in a first and this data should be in the second so let me just create the all things from a scratch so that you can understand it better so let's say we want to make a cart in this cart we have a footer we have a header and we have content also so how we can show that right so i am just making a div tag here like this and we can close this tag now here i can define a slot like this slot again like this and now let me mention here um name like header slot header that's uh, fine for a moment right and uh, here you can see that let's say header default data default data or you you don't need to mention here header you just put here default header right so why we are i'm putting here if we are just passing here uh, nothing inside our slot or header slot then it will show the default data so let me create two more one is a main and uh, last one can be let's say footer right so for a moment you can see that all have the default data right so what i can actually i want to do here so i want to just divide these all things in a header and footer like uh, i can use here header and footer tag so that it will be look nice uh, there is a nothing about a logic i just mentioning here header and main tag or content tag so that they can be look better 
content and uh, now we can choose here content tag and uh, we have to close them right not to open again we close that one close that one and at the last we can use here footer also let me close this footer so let's see now we have uh, the old header in three lines that's fine now let's use them in our header uh, tag so first of all what i want to do i want to pass so let's say uh, first of all let me define the data and a third one i have a button like this let me close this button let me put here by now right so for a moment you can see that there is a nothing data is uh, just uh, displayed from home because we did not define that what data should be visible in what slot so now what i i want to do i want to show this h1 tag inside our header so what we need to do first of all let me we have to define here template like this and use this h1 tag inside it yes we have to use template tag inside template tag and let me define here v slot and the slot name can be header and now you can see that we are get the data from header same thing we can do two more time one for main and second one for uh, let me show here main and for footer also and let's replace this data p even tag and button also at the last one and we can again format it and now you can see that this is looking nice so let me just uh, add some style inside it right border one pixel solid width we can put here let's say 170 pixel 170 we can put here pixels and uh, padding let's say 20 pixel margin again 20 pixel and text align can be in a center right and uh, we can just uh, put here with uh, around 130 this is looking looking much better so let me just copy it and now go to the child one and uh, let's define his style close this style tag and let me use uh, add a class here dot cart and let me add here a cart with testative class c a r t and let me check output this is working fine so again now let's say i'm using a using this a child again like this and third time and this and now you can see that we have a three card you can make a more style to just show them in a, a floated way in a right and left side right so here you can put here like say peter anil and last one let's say Pascar or someone like right so we have a three names perfect so now you will find that so let's say in a third one i just remove here button tag from third one then you will find that you got the default data here and the first uh, let's say from a first one mm -hmm, you just remove here second uh, main data and now you will find that you have a default data in a main content area so with that way you can uh, put a default value inside multiple slots and use multiple slots if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe this uh, channel and like this video